Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to break down our French Fire's sort of like ambient sample. So, if you like the sound of this as usual, you can obviously stick around. Make sure to be on the lookout for my new kit and let's get straight into it. So, I had an idea, obviously, Brent likes to use a lot of guitars and I wanted to use a proper like authentic guitar that obviously wasn't a vst because i didn't want it to sound unnatural a lot of people tend to stick away from using splice but i just love splice it's just so easy and so many people have said how good and there's a lot of songs that i recognize that use splice samples so first thing i've got is this very different guitar so i'll, I'll play it for you So for that guitar, it didn't really need too much processing. So I've used this chorus dimension smooth guitar. It makes it very wider and just gives it a little bit more character. Then I've messed around with EQs, cut a little bit of frequencies because it was very, very hard. So I wanted to get a little bit rid of that just so it's just not cutting through the mix and just being a little bit of like an annoyance to the sample. And then as I like to always do with samples, level them out using this tube, a compressor. So it's just like, it's like a steady volume so after i had that i went straight onto the perk loops i wanted to give the sample rhythm and i just had an idea in my head so i'll just play it for you dry <sighs> And what's key about that and it's in a lot of Brent samples, it's a little bit off the grid, a little bit off time, and that's what makes it unique and just sounds authentic. So for this sample, I use this Abbey Rhodes reverb plates, just so it sounds like it's in a room. It just gives it a cool like texture to it. Then I use this 116 Echo Boy just to give it a little bit more like echo and space and just feel the, the rhythm a little bit more. Then I've used this Metal Loop from uh, the J37. It just gives it a little bit more like a boost and stands out a bit. And then I've used like a, just a narrow band pass again just to get a lot of frequencies I didn't want. And then after that, I wanted to add another part loop just to give more rhythm. So I went on Splice again and found this. As you can see, it's door keys. So that was before I just did some processing. And then all I did was, as you can see here in the processing, a very very small band pass and that just because it was very harsh I just wanted it to be sitting in the background and as you can see in this sample I just cut the perk loops out at certain points just to give like freedom of other instruments next I use this moments by moment uh, like Rhodes electric piano so the chords just follow the guitar that's an A minor seventh and that's an F major seventh and it sounds like this It's very subtle, but I just feel like it just gives added flavor. But what I've done with that is EQ as usual. Quite a little bit of reverb just to give it that nice ambient sound. And that ambient sound is what just stands out with these samples. And then I've used this side chain so it's sort of like weight working its way in and not being too quick of an attack. And where I've used the one fourth, it's pulsing. Uh, but I took the mix down, as you can see. That's because so I didn't want it to be too, like, just stop, start, stop, start, if that makes sense. So next I use this flute sound, and I use this at the end of the chords just so it could bounce off, like, that high pitch riff at the end of the guitar. So it's just sticking in the same chords, but as you can see here, one sixth, I changed, like, the rhythm, so it sounds like this. So I've used this medium spring reverb on that flute. I didn't go too crazy, small width, small decay. Just to just give it a little bit of like just a like an ambient sound as usual. Then again, just took out tons of EQ. Then I used a quite a fast delay, so it wasn't too noticeable, just giving that like a nice chorusy sound. And then with the flutter up a little bit, it just gives a little bit depth to the modulation. Next, I use this finger mute bass, which is from my upcoming kit that sounds like this.
and all I've done on my base because it was obviously processed before just EQ'd little bits that I didn't want next what Brent likes to use to give that nice ambient texture I've used this bird sound so I'll show you it before and I've just added it at the start just because I wasn't too much and all I did on that was just add a reverb with a heavy mix then obviously just took out EQ next I'm going to add like a different listen to the whole sample so I've had like a break so I'm using the same chords but just strummed them differently and they sound like this and that just breaks down the bridge section and all I did on that is just always EQ and reverb and then next I added Delirium lead, it just gives it a nice rise and texture and just the feel to the sample. So with this I added a lot of processing, it's very harsh. So just to let it rise in again, I shape a box. I use this default cassette to give it that tape cassette sound. And I use this dark rich chamber, quite high depth and a little bit of mix, it's quite washed out a little bit. And then just EQ'd, delay just to fill in them pockets and just make it more fuller. And then I felt like it was just too much, so you use this low higher just so it was like more underwater and washed out. Then again I just use it, and then where it's travelling and it's like pulsing in, I wanted it to pan left to right, so it just gives it just the stereo field and just shifts so there's more space. And I thought I was done and I thought I need to add another guitar, so I just added... I think it was just an A minor and it just sounds like this. So it was a decently processed guitar off splice so I didn't really need to do much. So what I did again just add a reverb and then I just took out frequencies that was just a little bit overpowering and I didn't feel like it fit in. So as I always do and I always say in every video, the final sample brought it down three semitones and it sounds like this. So yeah, that is the whole video. I think it came out very nice and it's just a very cool mood in the sample. If you like this video, you know what to do. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot. Follow me on Instagram. That's going to pop up on the screen here. There's an upcoming kit and it will be a free version. So make sure to be on the lookout and I'll see you in the next one, people.